Welcome back to the second instalment of the body recomposition workout series. If you're not sure what body recomposition is or why it might work for you, go check out our previous videos and then head back here for a lower body strength workout. Today's session is targeting lower body for strength. To find out how this fits in with the entire workout plan, then download the free PDF document from the description below. That covers all the workouts, your diet, your macros, and also includes some interesting statistics and facts from my DEXA body scan to show why and how body recomposition works. We've also included a free macro calculator and a protein intake calculator, so be sure to check those out too. The body recomposition workout is split across four days, two for hypertrophy and two for strength. Our previous video, we looked at upper body strength and today we'll be looking at lower body. These strength workouts are designed to build a good solid foundation of strength to work from. This means we'll be stronger going into hypertrophy days. So when we're lifting for higher volumes, we can lift more weight and therefore spur more muscle growth. This lower body routine only consists of three exercises, three compound moves, the deadlift, the squat, and the Romanian deadlift. The order in which you do these exercises is up to you. Anyone who has done deadlifts and squats on the same day will understand that it's difficult to put your maximum effort into both exercises. For this reason, you might decide you wanna do deadlifts first or squats first. For me, when I do deadlifts first, my squats don't tend to suffer very much, so I kind of find that works really well for me. You might decide that you wanna alternate from week to week, so do deadlifts first one week, do squats first the second week. That is perfectly fine. For this workout video, we're gonna do it in the order that I do it, so we're gonna go straight into deadlifts. You will be aiming for five sets of four to six reps with two to three minutes rest between sets. Although this is a strength day, when you first start this routine, you'll be looking for an RPE of about three or four. This means you should be able to hit all five sets with six reps, with about six or seven left in the tank. It sounds pretty easy, but as the weeks progress, the intensity should increase. So by week four or five, the RPE should increase to about seven. This means that by the end of the final set, you should only have around about three reps left in the tank. The second exercise is the squat. For this exercise, you will also be aiming for five sets of four to six reps with two to three minutes rest between sets. If you are hitting six reps for all five sets, then increase the weight the following week. The final exercise on lower body strength day is the Romanian deadlift. We've already hit the glutes and hamstrings hard with the standard deadlift. So for the Romanian deadlifts, we're gonna work in a slightly higher rep range for fewer sets. So we'll be looking at four sets of six to eight reps but again with two to three minutes rest between sets. This lower body session will likely be the shortest workout you'll do in the body recomposition plan. For this reason, I like to include some time at the end of the workout to work on my weaknesses. So for me, it was pull-ups. So yeah, I spent some time at the end of these sessions working on lat activation exercises so that when I went into upper body day, I was a bit better prepared for doing pull-ups. For you, you might want to work on a mobility issue. For example, if you've got hip or ankle mobility issues that are preventing you from going deeper on a squat, then perhaps look up some routines that can help you improve that. So that's it for the lower body strength workout. It is a short routine, only three exercises, but they're good compound moves, but you're gonna build a lot of strength, you're gonna build some power, you're gonna work on your weaknesses, so it's going to be time well spent. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next in this series, which is the upper body hypertrophy day. It's gonna be a lot of volume, a lot of exercises. You're gonna feel it for a day or maybe a few days afterwards. So make sure you hit subscribe, check back, leave us a comment if you've got any questions and we'll see you next time.